Here is another attempt to explain how to lay out winders. And I'm going to provide you with two examples. So we have this one here, where each one of these lines is 30 degrees away from each other. We have a 90 degree angle here. And you could simply use a protractor to figure this part out. Or check out my book that I have on winders. It will provide you with a lot more details. And this example right here might not meet all of the building codes in the United States. However, it still does meet some of them. So you would need to check with your local building department to verify that information. And of course, the main reason why I made the video is because it's confusing to a lot of people to use this other method. But I think after you watch the video, it's going to be a lot easier to understand. And what we're working with here is a 12 inch by 12 inch square. And here we have a 3 foot by 3 foot square. And we're just simply moving the pivot point back so that we can make the winder steps a lot safer. And I also drew two lines. This line here is parallel to this. And this line here is parallel to this. And you can lay all of this out on the floor. Next up, I'm going to draw this line and this line. And then I'm going to remove this line and this line. And you don't have to remove these lines. You can always scribble them out. Just don't get confused and erase the wrong line or use the wrong line while you're building your winders. Next up, let's go ahead and remove these lines here. And then we'll remove these lines here. Next, we're going to remove these lines over here. And then we can go ahead and remove these lines here. So here we have a step here, a step here, and a step here. And for those of you who are wondering just what in the heck I'm doing here, I'm trying to draw the lines that we're going to use to create the steps for the winders. And some of you also might be wondering why I did this. And that's because some building codes require a 6 inch minimum measurement for each winder step. And in order to get this measurement here, you're going to have to use this method to lay out the winder stairs. And like I said earlier, I have a book on this. Go to the website, and I believe on every single page on that website, I have a link to our books. And don't forget to check out some of our other books also. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or letting us know in the comment area.